We will now add in some bones for the teeth. It's going to centre my cursor, place it roughly about here. And we're going to go Shift A. Oop. I wasn't sure if it appeared at first there. Um, <laughs> Alright, so we're going to shrink this down. Doesn't really matter, by the way the actual piece of this one, but we're going to call this one here teeth upper and no dot because we're not adding several sides duplicate this one down teeth lower and duplicate this across one more time, and we're going to call this one here tongue Okay, so we're going to uncheck the form for the for the tongue, and for all of these ones up here, I'm also going to uncheck the form. Now the reason we're doing this is is because we don't want these ones to actually deform anything. Um, they're more going to be used as controlling bones. So either these ones are going to control other bones or the meshes are going to be parented to them directly. So it's just a good habit to do this while you are. Uh, the teeth however will be deforming because upper and lower teeth are on different are on the same mesh. But the tongue is not. Okay. So lastly we want to add in a new bone for each shape key. Alright, so that's a lot of shape keys. Um, we're going to be adding quite a few. So let's go ahead and we'll duplicate this one across. I'm going to call this one here chin. And we will also have lip bottom. They don't have to be placed perfectly, by the way. Lip top. Let's go shift D from X axis. And I'm going to move this in a bit. Now, for me personally, I like to create my face bones on the face itself and then use um, adding some bone shapes to make them look, look a little bit nicer. A lot of people prefer to have them on a separate plane. So, for example, if I can split this window and then split it again. So I'd have it out somewhere like this. And you create all your bones here, and then as you animate, you simply move around your bones over here. Now that's perfectly fine, that's what a lot of industry professionals actually do now. Um, it's personal preference, of course, I prefer to have them on the face. It's not going to get you condemned by anyone, I've, ne I've never had anyone complain, but yeah, it's personal preference. So let's duplicate this one across. I'm not sure if I named that one. No, I didn't. I'm going to call this one here, snarl.l, this one here, smile.l, this one will be used for frowns as well, but smile is a good name. Alright, keep going. Let's move that one out and move it in over there. I'm going to call this one here cheek puff L for our cheek. Moving up, let's move this one up over here. And it's in about the right position there. Move it out a bit. This one here is going to be squint L. Do 
get it up over there and over here. Go and have eyebrow inner dot L. Eyebrow outer dot L. And we're almost done now. We have a couple more to do down here. Let's grab one of these. Let's duplicate this out to here and we'll go. I'm just going to rotate this one around so I can identify it from the other ones. This one here, we're going to call this one. Ooh, e, ooh, e, because that's gonna that one there's gonna control our O's and the E's. Basically, we're just gonna move it in and out like that. And one more in here. Looks a bit of a mess like this, but when you actually add in your bone shapes. Um, it does look a lot tidier. Now this one in here we are going to be calling. This one we will call... What should we call this? I'm trying to remember what it's called. It's called... It was controlled the the and the... S. What was it? Yeah, S is an L, L's and things that is all that'll do so that one will call, control those this one here at the front we will also use mouse to use to control the FB we may use this one here we'll decide that later on anyway so that there is all of our bones you can see that, I've all, that we do need to add them on the other side so I'm just gonna quickly hide these so they're not in my way. And we need to select this side. And all these, but not the ones in the middle. So those ones there. Yep, so we've got the whole lot selected now on the left hand side of the model. What we're going to do is press uh, period and go shift D. S, X, negative 1. Now that will flip them all onto the other side. So we can, what we can do now is to press W, flip names. And majestically we now all have cheekpuff.r, smile.r, and they're all named correctly. We're also going to add in one more bone over here. So we're going to go Shift S, first it's selected, and we'll go Shift A, add in a new one. Now this one here is just going to be a way to allow us to control them. So I'll parent those to that. Keep offset. This one here is not going to deform either. And we're going to call this one here. Look at control. So basically in post mode when we move this one around, it moves around both our eyes at the same time. Okay, now there's one last thing to do here. We need to make sure that we've got all of these selected and not those ones. Oh, that's where our cursor was, that makes sense. Select our head and control P keep offset. That way, when we go into post mode, when we rotate our head, the whole lot of it follows along. Okay, so that is all for setting up our rig. Now we can move on with the parenting and weight painting.